When Yoshi P first took over development in Final Fantasy XIV, I said his true impact won't be felt or understood until the release of Final Fantasy XVI, and I stand by that assessment to this day. When Yoshi P announced that he's going to be the producer of Final Fantasy XVI, I said it's happening. This is so exciting. And here we are, uh, just several months away from the release of Final Fantasy XVI, and I'm happy to say that I believe this is going to be a game of a year contender for 2023 alone. Now, there are some disadvantages and some side, you know, some a little bit of a bummers, uh, you know, and I want to call out right at the start of this video, obviously it launching exclusive for the PS5 in 2023. I do have concerns that that will affect its long-term sales numbers. I don't know that for a fact, but regardless of it, I think it's going to be a very excited launch. And unfortunately, not everybody's going to be able to take part in it. Now, I do not own a PS5 at the time of this recording. Wish me luck as I have begun my hunt again, but I have secured a collector's edition of Final Fantasy 16. I never do this for myself. I've always wanted to do this for myself. And so I'm going to treat myself with this game. I have a lot of hope for it. And I want to kind of explain a part of this as I tweeted it out that it's 2023 and Final Fantasy 16 is about to be crowned a game of the year. The story, a grand adventure with mysteries, sentences, tension, and wonder, and above all, characters that stick with you long after the credits roll. Every minute of exploration, worth it. Now here's the real fun thing about that tweet. That is an AI generated tweet. One of the things that I've been experimenting over on Twitter, I'm very curious to see ultimately how the numbers end up shaking out. So if you guys are curious just pay attention to future videos here on the channel. AI is a disruptive, a disruptive tool. Yoshi P is also doing the exact same thing. That's how I'm bridging these things together. I'm that confident that Final Fantasy 16 is going to be a really good game. And I want to explain to you why I have that confidence in Yoshi P and why I think that you should absolutely at least be paying attention to this game and to its launch, because I think it's going to represent a key milestone in Final Fantasy's history. Now, Final Fantasy has a very historic, a very pedigree, a big game. But Yoshi P has come out and he said something very critical about the game. Like very, I mean, when I say critical, I mean very key, like a real key moment. And he says that Final Fantasy as a franchise means a lot to a lot of people. A lot of people have an expectation of what a Final Fantasy is, uh, game is. He's not trying to make a Final Fantasy game for everybody. He's going to make a Final Fantasy game, something that has the focus, the passion and the delivery. He's also been able to bring in his what I've kind of been seeing behind the scenes is his A team, the team that really built up Heaven's Word, but also with it, with it, without the limits of like a teen rating, having Final Fantasy 16 be able to step into the realm of something like The Witcher, to be able to step into the realm of these M rated RPGs could affect its sales but I think it could really make its impact. The Final Fantasy fan base has all grown up with this game. And yes, this might not be a game that I play around the children, but that's gonna be okay. I think Final Fantasy 16, for his leadership alone, has the capacity to deliver an amazing experience. And one that I don't think that people, if they have the capacity to sleep on. And that's why I do wish this game was coming out more places at the same time but my goodness i really do hope square enix is getting paid uh for this exclusive deal and i mean paid i hope that check was multiple commas and multiple zeros uh and because then yeah I, I can't blame them right but here's a couple other key things i actually really liked final fantasy 15. i spent a lot of time with final fantasy 15. i think there was a lot of limitations to it a lot of people think final fantasy 15 was some 10-year project of a game and that really wasn't the case Final Fantasy 15 was a three year ish project. It's a game that started over and had to reboot itself. It started over many, many times again. This is something that as a software developer, we see happen a lot. Rework is a, it's not a fun thing. Anytime we have to go redo a class, re, you know, <laughs> reconfigure uh, how an entire process works, uh, it can be frustrating. It's not the fun work. It's not the new stuff. You're not building new things. Final Fantasy 15 had to start over and start over and start over again. Final Fantasy 16 has not had to do that. Now, not necessarily have they maybe hit roadmaps or roadblocks, but at its core, it's the team that Yoshi P put together, put in place, developed 
with a vision and a focus that I think you will feel. Doesn't mean you might necessarily rate it as your best Final Fantasy game of all time, but I think it's going to be one of the most important Final Fantasy games of all time. What can a team with a clear vision and leadership actually do as opposed to having to stop, having to start? Don't, one thing, not telling us about the game until it is near completion. And I think, I think the only reason why the game is releasing in 2023 is because of the global pandemic that we've all kind of had to adjust to. And I think that's essentially kind of a real good thing that ultimately you're going to be looking at a game that from a development perspective, one of the things that I see a lot of people misunderstand is that human resources are a real issue. Like you go to work for a company and you're going to be working on a project that at a minimum is going to have, you know, a three to four year before it's officially released and you can't really talk about it. So it is a weird world that game development exists in. But I want to talk about the action combat versus the turn-based combat because I see that happen and I see those comments pop up in my in, in the comment section and I cannot blame them at all. And at its core, I think I'm excited that this is an action game. I, I would stress that I don't, I wouldn't worry that if you didn't like 15's combat, I don't think you're going to get 15's combat here. I think from what we've already seen with the le the leaks and the skills and so much more that there's going to be a deep and rich combat system for you to take part in. Now, do I ever see Final Fantasy returning to kind of a turn-based combat game? I don't know if that is something that we can see happen within the mainlined numbered series, but personally speaking, I wouldn't mind if they decided to remaster Final Fantasy 11 as a turn-based, you know, Octopath style, you know, graphical game same thing if they wanted to do 14 in that same kind of fashion if they wanted to say here's the story of final fantasy 14 in this you know in this capacity i think that would be an interesting take for them to kind of be able to take these kind of mmos and, and turn them into something kind of turn-based or kind of branch off the final fantasy brand we've seen them do that with bravery default octopath traveler but i wouldn't mind a branded final fantasy game that ends up being heavily turn-based um you know i think that could be something that i would personally like to see but back to the focus of 16 the biggest frustration I had with 15 that I don't want to see 16 kind of go in that same boat is the universe of titles like you to really get the meat and the and the, the to get the gravitas of what 15 was trying to do. You have to play all the DLC. You have to watch the movie. You got to read the comics. You got to jump into the like the trailers and you got to consume every last bit of it. And it can be a little bit overwhelming. Now, 15 did go on to sell over 10 million titles. That's insane. That's incredible. Congratulations to Final Fantasy 15. Um, but I don't think this hopefully will be in a numbers game for uh, 16. Now, recently, the only kind of concern I have is that we've seen Square Enix talk about the uh, the numbers and how games don't live up to the expectations of sales, etc. And hopefully, we don't hear those kind of those kind that kind of talk around uh, this key franchise. Yeah. Anyway, that that is what I just kind of wanted to sit down and say. I think when you're looking at the team, I think what you're going to end up seeing is a is a product that is really, really delivers. And the real thing is, is that I really hope that we can see them also follow this up with 17 and 18 and more and continue the Final Fantasy series without these massive long gaps in their development. And I think in order to do that, that is going to be a big key component of what Yoshi P has inst instituted within the company and within the culture and i for one am all rooting for it and so one way or another um we're gonna find out if i'm right or not we're gonna find out if my tweet ai written or not has any real true impact on this game and if it ends up being a game of the year contender if it does i will not be surprised if it is in that list i will be rooting for it with all get out now 2023 is sure to be a year of some big hits some big titles and uh, it's going to be a fun one, uh, to say the least. But anyway, guys, as we made it to the end of this video, if you feel like this video earns it, hit that like button. And for doing so, I want to say thank you with this awesome picture of Ifrit. Uh, thank you guys so much for liking these videos. They were a great way of helping share them out in the world. If you guys want some more Final Fantasy content uh, regarding 16, I got a couple of things I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be testing out, trying out more. But I, I just want to sit down today and tell you why I'm excited. And it's so interesting because I don't believe I talked about the story, the world, or the characters, or the lore. Uh, and in any respect, because I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to go in as blind as possible, but also then I'm, I'm conflicted because I'm, I'm over consuming some things, but it's more about Yoshi P's development and his leadership 
and the team that he's built behind him that really gives me very very big confidence that the team is uh is set to really l- release something absolutely incredible for us all to enjoy and regardless i'm sure i'm going to find my ps5 i really want to try out for spoken and uh and kind of give you guys some thoughts on that hopefully we'll we'll talk more about that in the future but we're sure to have an insane year with square enix here in 2023 as we see the nft launch that's going to be interesting um and and more so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you like i said if you feel like it earns it hit that like button sound off in the comments below let me know what you think and uh, hopefully we'll see you in my next video but until then take care